Greetings and salutations and welcome to the Invent video. In today's video we're going to be looking at patterns, which are the ultimate cheat, be lazy, do a lot of stuff repetitively in Inventor. So to start with, you've got so to start with you've actually got four different types of patterns in the 3D model ones, if we ignore the sketch ones. Rectangular, circle, sketch driven and mirror. So if you start with rectangular, so let me go to here. The whole point of rectangle one is to organise stuff into rows and columns. So let's just say I make a hole in this pre-marked spot here, and we're just going to say all the way through. Click OK. There's one hole. Now let's just say I want to put lots of holes in, the, in this cuboid. Well, I can just select the rectangular pattern, and now you have a choice between individual features and it pattern the actual solids for get some features, and we're going to select our hole as the feature. So now direction one, let's say we're going up, and we're just going to actually spin it around. So instead of going down, it goes up. And we just say we're only going to want a second one, and now we can really just decide the gap, for, let's say 80. That will then, put a, put from the centre point, put a gap of 80, 80 mils and plop another one there. And then we just kind of do very much the same for direction 2. We select the left to right, the horizon, horizontal, and we're just going to flip it around so it doesn't go off, and we're just going to select 80. Now that's great, now we've got holes in all four corners and that could be screwed into the wall. And that's pretty much a rectangular pass in a nutshell. Now if you move on to circular, you've basically got what could be considered a chunk of cheese or a triangular prism, whichever way you want to see it. Circular, you can literally just take, well this only has one feature in it, take that, select your rotation axis which could really just be any of these sides. And then you could choose to rotate it how much, around that point how many times, I'm just going to say 6 and 360. Click OK, you got yourself a hexagonal prism. Now, otherwise, we're going to go on to sketch later, you go into mirror. And mirror literally just takes that, takes your surf, takes your solids, your feature, whatnot, and then just puts it along a mirror plane, which can either be a plane, or it can just be the side of the shape, I'm just going to use the side here, and it just mirrors it job done. Pretty simple. Now sketch driven is a little bit more complicated in that you actually need a sketch or at least a set of features to prescribe how it works. So if I go into this first one here, what you can see here is I have a base sketch here which basically is doubling the gap each time going 10 to 20 to 40 to 80. Now you couldn't do this with an all rectangular because the gap would have to be have to be the same each time, whereas the gap between each one row to each other doubles. So what you can instead do is you set up a sketch like this and you can plot your points out and then you just take a feature. So if I just make this fit, select here, select here, and let's just make it five to make it really small. Click OK. Now if I go to sketch driven, select that, select select sphere. And there you see all those green boxes, there you go, and you click OK, and it just passes them in there, it's the ultimate cheat repeat method, and it's really as quick as that, and that's pretty much all there is to patterns, so thank you for listening to me, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.